I really, really want something to eat. I'm just like, you know, I'm gonna order some pizza and I order like the local pizza and it's just, uh, it's okay. <laughs> yep. Not enough energy. Not enough energy. Oh, you ran out of chrono. Not enough energy. There you go. <laughs> That's good though. Like, as long as, as long as you keep the money down and your energy down in a, like in a good way, then you're doing fine. Research complete. That's also like another huge difference between the pros and the noob leagues is. The pros always are spending money on something, and then new leagues were always having like a thousand bank minerals and gas. I can't build here. You know you have a pylon down there, right? Yeah, but what I'm trying to do is I'm warping so that when no, I get when they get down here, I can warp in again. You should um. Make a pylon Put more so pylons in your natural, or not in your natural, in your uh, main, because you like you had to spawn those stalkers in your choke, which is kind of only really good if you're getting attacked and they're going for your inner line. I'm just seeing what this guy has. It's actually like really weird. This game, like the way he's blocking off. I can't even watch because it's just, like I'm I'm watching the stream and I'm on the game so. I'm going off the delay. That is definitely a very big defense. The funny thing is, it's only two bunkers, and then, a, like, two barracks, and three, uh, or two supply posts. That's the thing, like, when you're a Protoss, it's a lot harder to break a wall than a Zerg, because Zerg, you can just bail and bust the wall. Like, that's what I did when I, when I played I think the he, he would have broken the wall if the dude wasn't Masters. <laughs> well, if he had any sort of common sense into the metagame I mean, it, and into the game wild. itself. It's the lowest league versus the highest league. Just because you're low league doesn't mean you don't understand the game. It just like oh, he understands I understand the game. I understand the game really well. I just can't apply very well. Like my mechanics, what I need to work on. Yeah, I try to. That's what I've been trying to practice. Like I know builds, I know stuff like that. I just need to practice like how fast I am. Yeah, exactly. I like just my multitasking. Pretty much all mechanics is what I need to work on because I know my counters, I know my engagements. I just can't micro macro at the same time. Anyway, I lost. Poor Gates all in. You didn't necessarily lose if you, you just need to hold, which is very hard. Can't be done in four gates scenario because four gates all in. Well, when you four gate all in. Actually, I can't really speak for Protoss because I'm a third player. Like, uh, what I would do once I'm attacking that is I would expand on top of it, like most players, but Toss is very yeah, hello. I don't to expand. Probably use zealots just because they're good for bio balls. Yeah, but unfortunately, it didn't matter anyway. Base is under attack. Yeah, we probably shouldn't have expanded. That would have. No, because four gate you oh, can't. Like, four gate is designed to be all in. You don't like you don't play the hoss. You don't understand. But what a four gate is, 
you make only so many probes and you stop probe production and then you use your money specifically on stalkers, zealots, that combo, but against somebody who's just better than you, I thought, well, I'm going to lose on it, so I might as well try something surfy. <laughs> I guess, yeah. Um, anyways, I got to go for a bit, so All right. I guess I'll talk to you guys later. Okay, you can rejoin if you wish. I right, thanks. Yep. But thanks for joining. Hey, Octane, Octane, Octane. I always work in there, Octane. I'm always working in <laughs> Factors heard. Still lose and rage. <laughs> Raging's my thing, man. Raging's my thing. That's me. Mr. Rager. Sorry about that. I had somebody call me. No problem, man. I think we're gonna remake it. I don't know what we're doing because half of the people left. So I got 23 people in chat, and probably half of them are from the UK. I'm not even in my team's chat. I'm in your chat, and not my team's. <laughs> <laughs> we'll get yeah. in your team's chat then. What can I say? In control isn't the best pro, but he's damn fine player. I don't know. I don't know he's much really about good. in control. He's, uh, he, um, I don't know, like, he's really good. It's just like everybody judges him on that slump that he had because he won a really big tournament and then he lost like four games in a row and then, like, tournament wise. And then everybody's like, oh, you're so bad. And then he quit because his, like, he didn't, he didn't, he didn't care. Everybody didn't like him. He, nobody would watch his stream, so he was just like, screw it. Mm. And he would just ladder and ladder and ladder and ladder. But now he's getting back to the point where he's really good. Mm. And he's getting he's getting there. I'm hoping he goes back to GM the means nothing? <laughs> yeah. What? I don't know. I, I disagree with that one. Make a good GM kid someone in my stream. He, he's a master. GM make a good kid. I disagree with that. GM means nothing. I disagree with that quite a bit. Because, I, I mean, let's face it. I don't think against a somewhat good grandmaster you'd be able to beat them. They know okay, the game. If, if we put this mega good kid versus, like, Parse in control, he would probably lose. Because in control... Okay, being GM means you understand the game in such a way that you can't be masters. Like... The GM is superior to a Masters League player. That's just how the game works. Like, you're not going to walk up and go to MLG and exactly people foregate to Masters. But I mean, you're not going to foregate it. You're not going to only do foregate and make it to Grandmaster. I guarantee it. Because you'll get shut down. Because people actually learn, they actually learn how to counter a foregate in, mass, in Grandmasters. Now, yeah, you'll win. But you're not going to get a four gate all the way to GM. And if you do four gate all the way to GM, then you're really, really bad. Because you're only, you're going to be able to play like maybe a macro game with a gold player and you're going to be able to four gate everyone else. <laughs> I, okay, name one person that's made it all the way to GM with four gating because I don't know of any. Uh, I don't know of any either. Like all the grandmasters. To, to masters, I, I, yes, to masters. But we're yeah, talking like about jank masters, grandmasters. Yeah, but I don't know any people that have done nothing but foregate to grandmasters. Are you guys still in this argument? <laughs> we're in a different one now. <laughs> we're talking about foregating. Somebody's saying in my chat that 
GM I, meant nothing, and GM, then it started GM from there. GM does mean a lot. <laughs> like once you make it to GM, you're you're considered one of the best. I bet like, you if Puck was here, he would tell you that GM means something, and he is a GM. And then he would take you into a game and show you what it means. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Like, being GM means you understand the game in such a way that you can pretty much beat anything, anytime. Now, yeah, GMs do lose to other masters, but you're, like, you've beaten Puck on ladder. You're <laughs> trolling. <laughs> I don't, like, I mean, because Puck trolls quite a bit. And if you beat Puck on ladder, that probably means you're close to a GM, which is okay. <laughs> <laughs> GM doesn't mean crap in the pro league. It means that you're a good player, though. Well, I mean, it doesn't mean anything in pro leagues, but you're not going to make it to pro leagues if you can't play as well as a GM. No? I'm, I'm, having, a, I'm having an argument. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my. This is why everybody comes to this stream, because... We just talk about the game and talk about players and we talk about leaks and we talk about races and it just gets that intense. Yeah, I don't think the latter means much because I don't really concentrate. Blizzard matchmaking system is probably the most advanced of any kind. Could be. But it's kind of weird as well, Nerm. Anyway, we have to uh, play some games. <laughs>